welcome back to Red Dead Art. Now today we have this super cute origami paper envelopes. Yes, they're origami, they're made from a square piece of paper. You can open them up, put a letter inside, shut it and post it to someone. Or if you want to, I think this works really well as well. You can open up all the way, you can write your letter on the inside and then you can fold it up and post it to a friend or a loved one. Now these would make really good thank you cards, really sweet Christmas cards, um, or a really nice way of sending a family Christmas letter. Anyway, shall we see how these lovely wintry cards are made? Let's take a look. So to make your cute little envelopes, all you need is a sheet of printer paper, some scissors, some pens and pencils and pens for decorating, um, and yes, off you go. Now, um, you don't have to use pencils, you can use, uh, what's it called, felt pens and all that kind of thing, so you use whatever you've got at home. But the first thing is we need to create a uh, square, so I'm going to bring this up over here, so aligning that side over here to create a square, like with all our corner bookmarks, actually. There we go. Make a nice, tight crease. And then cut along here. Now I'm gonna create a very gentle crease in the middle by bringing this over. And that's just because then I have a guide I'm going to use that guide later. You don't want it too strong, this crease. This is just so you know where the middle is. Now bring down one of the two flaps and fold down neatly. Now you'll notice actually that my bare envelope is slightly bigger than my owl envelope. And that means I'll get a slightly smaller nose or a slightly bigger nose or beak. So depending on how big you want your beak to be, you'll have to fold this in narrower or wider. Look, it's only a little bit difference. Can you see? So I want uh, to make the, um, uh, what's it called, the penguin. So I would like a slightly bigger beak on this occasion. I think my fingers are all a bit dirty from doing all this painting today. So slightly bigger beak. And now I'm going to repeat on the other side and I want this to line up. Yeah. So when I bring this over, make sure that these up here are the same length, roughly, I mean, it doesn't have to be exact. Yeah, that's about right, looks okay. Make these nice and neat, crease and crease. Now, you see this line that we brought in? Here, you fold this flap over, make it nice and tight. Then you bring it up and open it, see that? and push, can you see? Down. And there you have that little triangle in the middle. Now what I'm going to do now is I'm going to fold this in, because I want a beak. So for the, the, the two birds, I've kind of created a little triangle. For the um, bear, I've just left it like a diamond. Now you bring this down, like so, and tuck it in and that's your basic shape. Brilliant, so now it's time to decorate. Uh, so I'm going to get my pencils and my pens and I'm going to make, these are my daughters, I bought these for her birthday, I don't think she'll mind me borrowing them. And I'll colour this in and I'll show you something about these pencils in a minute, they're really lovely pencils and you can get really great effects with them but I'll do that right at the end. So colour it in. You can use biro, uh, not biros, but you know, felt tips as well, obviously, or crayons or anything you've got, really. Then get one eye. I'm just going to roughly place the eyes there so I know where they go. I'm a bit nervous about getting them exactly centre and then I end up getting it slightly wrong. So I'm happy with those, I think. This time I'm going to use a marker pen because I want the eyes to be really vibrant. Here we go. 
Then I'm going to use some um, pink. A little bit of cheek. And finally, I'm going to use the black to create that sort of penguin shape. And I'm going to colour it in. Okay, so now I'm going to show you something about these pens. Now you can use an ordinary paintbrush, but I've got these um, special water brushes, but an ordinary paintbrush will do too. When you go over it, they make it like a watercolour. Isn't that beautiful? It gives it like a really nice finish. Now I know some of you have asked me about these pencils before, so I've put them in the links for you, and I think they're really, really lovely. And now look at the black, it makes it really gorgeously smooth. Isn't that lovely? I could have used it for the eyes as well, of course, but because there's that little white spot there, I was a bit sort of hesitant to do it there. Like I said, you can use a normal paintbrush, you don't need this, this special brush. But the, the pencils are special, they're like these watercolour pencils, and like I said, I can link those below. They make really good gifts actually, so if you've got birthday coming up, you could always mention these to your parents. And there we go, isn't it adorable? I think it's lovely. Now this, I'm going to let this dry, because it's a little slightly damp now. Then once you've written in your card, you can of course glue it down and then it's ready for posting. So here's an example, you can open it up, right in here, fold it back up again, bring it together, fold it together, and then you can post it. You can actually post this, right, put a stamp and letters and that's it. Brilliant. So I hope you like these super cuties. Oh, I wanted to share with you, um, we, we love this, the, the decorated ones, but if you want to, we've also got some really cute printables for you, including um, this really lovely one. So little printable reindeer, printable Christmas ones. Look at this, really, really sweet. Aren't they lovely? So if you want to use the printable, the pre-printed ones, um, you know, you can get those in the links below. Uh, and yeah, for extra information. But there you go, that's how easy it is to make a paper envelope. I think they're really, really cute. Now, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and hopefully we'll see you here on Red Head Art again soon. Bye.